You know, all this talk about transformational leadership, I just want to say, transformation is tough. Transformation is difficult. As a matter of fact, we only go through it when there's some compelling reason to do so. Because no one in their right mind would go through the upset, the confusion, the tumult, the pain that comes with transformation if there weren't a good reason to do it. We all see that beautiful image of a butterfly emerging from the chrysalis. And we say, oh, that's the symbol of transformation, and it is. But what we often don't realize is that metamorphosis only occurs when that caterpillar has dissolved into a gelatinous mass. <laughs> and many of us who've gone through transformational moments might be able to identify with that feeling of that gelatinous mass. Until then, that caterpillar begins the struggle to become something that it has never been before. The existentialists tell us that every moment presents a choice between doing that which we have done before and doing that which we have never done. It's the choice between being that who we've already been and becoming someone we have yet to become. They further warn us that when we venture into new territory and do that which we've never done before, we will face the fear of the unknown, what they so beautifully call existential anxiety. But it is those very choices, when we choose to go into the unknown over our familiar routines and ways of being, that bring us the possibility of existential freedom and joy. The opportunity to become who we could become means that we must challenge the status quo and not settle for who we have been. It means being willing to take risks, to venture into the unknown, to make mistakes, to take the chance of looking foolish and being misunderstood. If we are to truly embark on the marvelous adventure of life and all of its possibilities, our research has revealed that people who live great lives, the people that we've seen as examples of transformational leaders, are on a continuous arc of transformation over and over and over again. They're willing to examine and challenge their beliefs, to see things anew, to consistently make the hard choices to become who they could be in the service of a higher mission. This is true transformation. Not change for change's sake, or to change because we're inadequate in some way, or to change to be okay, or to change to keep up with others, but change in the service of becoming who we could become and fostering a world where we are all able to discover and realize our full potential. This is the purpose of the Wright Graduate Institute for the Realization of Human Potential. A new kind of education to develop and prepare the leaders of today and tomorrow. To develop the innate capacity of every human being to be the best that they possibly can be and to foster the development and the fulfillment of potential in all that they touch. We hope that you will join us in taking the necessary steps into unknown possibilities as we and all of humanity emerge into our full potential. We thank you for joining us this evening for the celebration of transformational education for transformational leadership. I'd like to ask you to join us now as we introduce to you and launch the Wright Institute for the Realization of Human Potential. <laughs>